Okay, so in this problem we have a car slowing down from some initial speed to rest. So the first thing I want to do is make a note of the variables we've got. So it says the, start, the car slows down from 28 meters per second. So that means the initial speed, which we label as V0, is equal to 28 meters per second. And it goes from 28 meters per second to rest, which implies that its final speed is a speed of zero meters per second because it's no longer moving, it's at rest. Uh, and it mentions that it travels a distance of 88 meters. So I'll write that as a delta x and set it equal to 88 meters. And we want to find the acceleration of the car. So how are we gonna do this? Well, because the acceleration is assumed constant, that means we can use our three primary kinematics equations. So I'll write them out here real quick. And here they are. But as for which one to use, well, we want ideally in a perfect, nice situation, we'd want to look for an equation that has, that includes the variable we're trying to find, but also has it so that every other variable in the equation is something we already know. That's the, that's the best situation to have. And in this case, it looks like we're lucky enough that we do have that here. Because this in this third equation, we have the final speed, we have the initial speed, uh, acceleration is what we want to find, and delta x is what we're looking for. The other equations wouldn't work as nice because they both include time, and time has nothing to do with the variables given to us. So we'll want to use this third equation here. So because acceleration is what we're looking for, we'll want to take that formula and algebraically solve it for a. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract both sides of this equation by v naught squared so that the term that contains a can be on its own. So we'll end up with it looking like this, where we've got v squared minus v naught squared on the side. And then finally, to get a completely on its own, we'll want to divide both sides by uh, 2 times delta x so that we'll have a term that only contains a on one side of the equation and then on the other side is v squared minus v naught squared divided by 2 times the change in position and this is the final equation we'll want to use now all that's left is for us to plug in our numbers from the equation from the problem 28 meters per second for v and the uh, for v naught, I mean, and the v squared will disappear because it's zero, and it just becomes negative v naught squared. And if you put all this into your calculator, then you should find an acceleration of negative 4.5, I'm rounding a little bit here, meters per second squared. And this answer makes sense because it's negative, and of course the acceleration should be expected to be negative here, because since the car is slowing down, the acceleration is opposing the, the speed of the car. So our answer seems very logical. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out. If you have a request for a future video, comments will work there, but I've also got a Discord server linked in the description, so all are welcome there. And if you'd like to support this channel and help me make more of these in general, feel free to check out some of my other videos on this channel, as well as the ones I've got coming in the future. So that's all for now, and have a nice day.